running gear had nothing to do with this. So you're with these Indians too, huh? Well, we're fighting to the last man. Well, the fight's all over. Chief running gear just stopped him. If you don't believe me, take a look for yourself. Red Fox ill advised you. We must not fight the whites. They are our friends. gun. Get off, horse. I'll do just as you say, Injun. I'll, I'll cooperate with you to the to the full extent. No talk. Do as I say. Here. See? See, I throw. Cut away. Pretty close, Chief. I'll never die at the hands of a renegade, but it's good that you were here, White Eagle. It's good you arrived just in time. Had this battle continued, our cause would have been lost. But you had better tell the whites that this is not our work, it's the work of a renegade. Well, we were all fools, and I know it. I guess the best thing we can do now is to get out of here and try and get our old jobs back. And the only thing I can say to you, White Eagle, is thanks. Chief, I've got something to tell you. I just took care of Red Fox in a big way. Red Fox? <laughs> yes, sir. You ain't got nothing to worry about. Why, Deco? Let me tell you how I got rid of Red Fox. Red Fox? <laughs> yes, you said he killed him. Yes, yeah, sir. Now, there I was on my horse on that lonely trail. And I was riding up that steep mountain, and I come to a bend, and standing on the rock was that varmint red fox. And I'll get rid of you all, one way or another, if you fail me again. Come in. Well, 
What is it? White Eagle get running deer, go to mine. He stopped fight. Oh, I know. That Campro's already told me. You stupid fool. Why didn't you kill White Eagle when you had the chance? Me try to. Look, his hat for proof. White Eagle's hat? That gives me an idea. I'll keep it here till I can use it. Get out. Anything special you want me to do? Yes. Go and round up some of the men. Come back after dark. I'll have some work for you. Right. trouble comes up, I'm sure that Mr. Darnell will help you. Oh, just leaving? Yes. I was just telling Janice she could call on you for help if anything happens while I'm gone. Oh, I certainly she can. How long are you going to be gone, Dave? Till about midnight. I'm going to inspect the relay station. So your mail's on my desk. Oh, thanks. Hello, Pendle. Sorry, I'm in a hurry. Hold it. Careful. Don't worry about me. I'll be all right. There's some important business I want to talk over with you, Darnell. No, I'm very busy. Not too busy, I hope. This is important. What kind of business could you have with me? Oh, some business about a hat in your safe. Kind of surprised you, huh? Well, you better go over to my office. Talk it over in private. It's all right with me. Anywhere, as long as we talk it over. Don't hesitate to call on me, Janet. I'm at your service. Thank you. I'm hoping there won't be any need. gambler, Darnell, so I'll put my cards on the table. They better be good. They are. You see, I was listening outside your window when you were talking that half-breed embrace. You're the man behind all the trouble in these parts, and I can prove it. For a cut, I'll keep my mouth shut. He talks cheap. What's your proof? Just one of the many things I happen to know about bullet from this gun killed Clark. I could spill it to the whole town. It looks like you do hold the cards. I told you I was good in my line. But you've got to show me how you can help me before I cut you in. First, get rid of White Eagle. He's messed up nearly everything you've started. That hat of his will come in handy. <laughs> I already have a plan for that. Yeah? What's that? If Dave Rand's sister were to disappear tonight and White Eagle's hat was found in the office, he'd get blamed for it. After they find White Eagle's hat, Word or two well placed will start the whole town on a rampage. I'm just the man can do it. And after that, if he's killed, the whole town will be delighted. And you're counting me in? Yes. I'll have a couple of the boys find you when we're ready. You can help them get the girl. And the three of you will hold her at the hideout till we take care of White Eagle. I'll keep my eye on the girl until your boys contact me. Remember, Darnell, you're counting me in. Even that mountain of gold at Black Butte Pass. How did you learn of that? I'll just say the little bird you heard the news from whistled it to me. I've got a knack of learning things. That's why you don't make any mistake counting me in. I'll wait for your word. Back. Yeah, the surveying crew were led into the Indian country on a fake gold rush, right smack into a trap. And I brought running deer up in time to stop the fighting. Where are you going, Dave? Well, I'm riding out to the relay station for an inspection. Uh, will you keep an eye on Janet while I'm gone? Glad to. Thanks. Come on, Richard. Matty, 
Race. Yep. I've got an idea this time that can't go wrong. You're going to get Dave Rand's sister and take her to the hideout. And our friend, Mr. Pendleton, is going to help you. Pendleton? How does he cut in? I don't have to explain my reasons to you. Howdy, Pendleton. Howdy. Right eagle. Wait. Before you go in there, I'd like a word with you in private. Me too. Him and me is just like that. All right, all right, but don't shout. What I've got to say is private. Let me go ahead and you follow. Don't suppose there's a trick to this, do you? Oh, don't be so spooky. Must be Broadway, taking us clean to China. I've got to talk fast. I can't be seen with you. I'm a government secret agent. I've been trying to find out who's causing all the trouble out here. I've joined up with a gang, so I'll know who they all are. I need your help. But what can we do? As soon as it gets dark, hide in the back room of the Pony Express office. I'll be with two of the gang tonight when they try to take Janet away. As soon as you hear us, jump out and catch us. Well, we can get you plenty of them. Quiet, quiet. We wouldn't dare. You might be part of the gang. Do as I say. I've got to hurry. Don't seem good to me. Sounds like a fairy tale. Anything wrong? Oh, everything's fine. Well, you better stay here with me until we're ready. Won't help it if you see so much around the Pony Express office. Ah, uh, they'll never suspect me. Wait a minute. The boss says for you three to wait here till he calls for you. Wake up, Pendleton. Boys, you all know Pendleton? Yeah, sure. He's one of us now. Everything's ready. Good. I'll get White Eagle's hat. Here, yeah, better put these on. What's the matter, Pendleton? Nobody gambling? Ah, your boss is offering me bigger profits. <laughs> get the girl, wreck the office, and put the hat in a prominent place. Then leave town fast. Right. Wait a minute. You ain't aiming to use guns on the little lady, are you? I was born a gentleman that'd go against my ethics. Oh, we don't need any guns on this. Come on. Good luck. What would the little lady say if she knew we were hiding here like a couple of varmints? Quiet. They'll be here any minute now. You boys get over to the Pony Express office. Be ready to give Maddie and Brace a hand if they need it. That Pendleton's pretty smart. All right, get those masks on. We'll get going. Not another sound out of you if you want to live. Not a thief, and you won't get hurt. Back the place. Stop it! Drop those guns, or I'll let the girl have it. Drop them, Grizzly. Take where you are. Both under arrest. Move or I'll let you have it. Signal the boss when we get away. Yes. White Eagle shot him. White Eagle? Eagle? But why? Before this man lost consciousness, he gasped that White Eagle and Grizzly made way with Miss Rand and shot him when he tried to stop them. Are you sure? All I know is what Pendleton told me. And here's White Eagle's hat. Well, then, then he's the guilty man. Oh, he's he's guilty. Guilty. Oh, he we shot at them and tried to stop them, but they got away. Now get your horses. We'll form a posse and go after them. Oh, I just wait. Come on. Get out of here, quick. Keep moving. 
prove it. What are you going to do with the girl? Don't worry about her. Get going. Quick! Get him! I got my gun! You fool, let me grab your gun. Don't you know that girl saw your face? Yeah. We've got to get them all. She ain't going to get a chance to say I had a hand in this. Keep shooting so they can't get out. Give her back, because this should get free sure. Here. Say, this can't go on forever with just two men shooting. We'll run out of ammunition. I know what to do. Now get you more guns, too. Here you are, Grace. Keep him busy we get this thing fixed. The dictator of crime is going to spring a big surprise. Your answer is found in the fake army general. Next chapter of White Eagle. <laughs>